Welcome to the learning series brought to you by the Rogers Corporation. Today's topic, measuring the calf resistance of RO4000 materials. Now here's your host, Mike Kujai. Hello, I'm Mike Kujai of Rogers Corporation where I manage our circuit processing technology group and help to manage our global technical support structure. As part of my job responsibilities, I help to coordinate material and processing evaluations to support product developments and also to support customers of our high performance circuit board materials. As we all know, calf resistance is becoming an increasing interest in the markets that we serve and as such, Rogers has added calf resistance as a standard part of our test portfolio. We've adopted the IPC 9254 coupon as our standard test design. The test coupon design allows for calf resistance measurements plated through hole to plated through hole, plated through hole to plane, and plane to plane. The A coupon is designed to measure through hole to through hole calf resistance in line with the course direction of woven glass reinforcement layers. Measurements taken in line with the glass fabric are typically considered to be at the greatest risk of failure. In this test coupon, the whole wall to whole wall test distances range from 10 to 25 mils. The B coupon is designed to measure through hole to through hole calf resistance on a directional bias with the woven glass layers. There is not a direct through hole to through hole pathway along the glass fabric in the B coupons. Generally speaking, failures in this coupon type are likely to occur along a quarter prepreg bond line. As was the case with the A coupons, the whole wall to whole wall test distances range from 10 mils to 25 mils. The C coupon measures plated through hole to plane calf resistance over distances ranging from 5 to 12 mils. This test coupon is most likely to identify registration problems, prepreg underfill, or challenge core to prepreg adhesion. The D coupons measure calf resistance between vertically stacked copper plane layers. The plane to plane test distances are defined by the core or prepreg layer thicknesses being considered. We complete calf resistance testing of double sided four layer and ten layer multi layer constructions depending upon what it is we're trying to resolve. We'll run calf tests on multi layer construction boards if we're trying to resolve complex interactions between the base materials and the PCB process. It's generally understood that the materials and the processes can both make a contribution to the calf performance of a multi-layer construction. We'll run double-sided test vehicles if we want to determine the intrinsic calf resistance capability of a material or if we want to evaluate the contribution made by a specific portion of the PCB process. For example, we use double-sided test vehicles when trying to define the preferred method for preparing holes drilled into RO4000 materials prior to copper plating. In our test, we compared the calf resistance of 60 mil thick RO4000 3C cores that had been drilled only against drilled cores that had also been processed through a full chemical D-spear or through a CF402 plasma D-spear. The conditions for measuring the through hole to through hole calf resistance of the double sided test vehicles were 500 hours at 85 degrees Celsius and 85% relative humidity with a 100 volt bias applied. This chart shows the calf resistance that was measured on the drill only samples. The x axis lists the test intervals and the y axis shows log resistance. The through hole to through hole test distances are color coded such that red lines represent 10 mil test distances, while green, blue, and black lines respectively represent test distances of 15, 20, and 25 mils. As can be seen in this chart, the drill only coupons passed calf resistance testing down to a 10 mil through hole to through hole distance. Calf resistance of chemically desmeared test constructions was not nearly as good. There were failures at the 20 mil through hole to through hole test distance, and there was a failure even at the 25 mil whole wall to whole wall test distance. On the other hand, the calf resistance of plasma desmeared test constructions was much better. These test vehicles passed calf resistance testing down to 15 mil wall to wall spacing. 
As a result of these tests, we recommend CF4 oxygen plasma as the preferred method for preparing whole walls in calf-sensitive RO4000 multilayer designs. Visit our webpage at rogerscorp.com to contact a Rogers Technical Service Engineer for more information about the calf resistance of Rogers high-performance printed circuit board materials. For additional information and technical tools, if you're not already a member, join the Rogers Technical Support Hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more Rogers Corporation informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Raj mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today.